All right, guys. So in this video, I'd like to show you how to export um, ground survey targets that you're using for your drone into a format that DJI Terra actually likes, meaning uh, latitude, longitude, and decimal degrees, and um, ellipsoid height in metrics for your height. So uh, we see an example over here, uh, just to see that that's actual on ground. These are coordinates that are in Delaware State Plain coordinates. And you can see that there are northings, eastings, and elevation in US survey feet. But that's the right uh, or the wrong format for uh, DJI Terra to import for control. So in order to um, do this, uh, just collect your data as normal, but you export a different type of file. So you'll go export or, well, uh, exchange to file. We are going to be exporting uh, points, that's correct. We will select units because we are in US survey feet currently, but we will select these um, to be different than US feet. We will use top context custom, this is correct. Uh, hit next. We will now go and actually switch the units into meters. That way we are confirming that our height will be metric, not feet. Next, um, let's do this. Let's call this uh, lat long export DJ Terra. Sure, why not? Hit the green check. And currently, and this is where you need to adjust a little bit, you will have to look at the file uh, style right now. So we have a name, we have a northing, we have an easting, we have an elevation, and we have a code. And I actually know that the elevation is wrong because I need my ellipsoid hat. And this is where the, uh, I guess the flexibility of the program comes into hand because when you look at uh, what you're exporting, you can hit the edit button or you can add and create your own style. But currently, I'm happy with name, northing, easting, which is latitude, longitude, but elevation, I'm not happy with. So I'll go to edit, I'll take elevation, and I'll actually take out of the list. And I will take uh, in the left here, in the left pane, I have ellipsoid hat. I'll put it in here. I need it in this same order, so uh, northing, easting, ellipsoid height and then codes if you have them. So this is the first prerequisite. You are exporting the right types of data that you want. Next, comma separated, everything else stays the same. Over here now, what you need to do, you want the geoid not to be considered in your export. So we'll actually turn off the geoid and we don't want grid coordinates, but we want, guess what? We want latitude, longitude, ellipsoid height. So latitude, longitude, ellipsoid height, our datum, because we were in Delaware, we were connected to the GPS network. Uh, as long as it says NAT83, no trans, no trans actually translates uh, one to one to WG84. So you don't have to go looking for it and changing it. So WG84 is NAT83, no trans. So this is already met. We don't have a geoid and we want to do latitude, longitude. Uh, next. We don't want degrees, minutes, and seconds, but we want degrees and decimal degrees. So this is degrees, decimal degrees over here. Elevation precision is however many, however many decimal points you want to output, but I usually don't mess with it. I'll hit the green check. It exports very quickly because obviously there's almost no data to actually ex export eight points. So let me look at the actual file that gets created. So if we go to our D drive here and go jobs, and we go here, if I double click this, now you'll notice that this is now latitude, longitude, and these are negative heights because we're in Delmarva and we are below the actual ellipsoid height, but these are metric. So if you look at the actual uh, values that we have here, and this is a good common sense check. So this is what we just exported, and this is, uh, or this is the actual file that we exported from, and this is what we generated. So this is our point number one, 101 is right here. If you want to be a little bit more you know, proactive and careful about does this really kind of make sense, you can look at uh, latitude, longitude, and um, ellipsoid height in here. Uh, the only problem is magnet field by default shows you degrees, minutes, and seconds. So it's going to be a little bit tricky to figure it out, but at least you see that it um, uh, exported the right stuff because you have 39 degrees at least negative 75 you know that's latitude longitude so you can kind of confirm that but uh, regardless at this point uh guess if we want to go and change your units into meters just to see if those heights really align at least 
go into meters, you should have negative 2953. And if we go into what I just closed, which means if we look at this, it says 953. So this is correct. So I know it exported it correctly. Obviously, decimal degrees and uh, these minutes, minutes and seconds are the only other things. But now I have the file that I can export, save as, and export and import into uh, DJI Terra for uh, aligning to ground targets. Right? Hopefully this was a helpful video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below.